The smell of old books. The sound of rustling pages. The dimly lit corridors and lamps that flicker and barely light the table area. The sound of whispers and footsteps. Yes, a library that gives dark academia feels. Well, yes, we found one and I wanted to take you guys on a little tour of the Lanier Library in Houston. So grab a cup of tea or coffee, get cozy, and watch as we explore and enter this interesting library in Houston that we found. This library is on a private property and belongs to Mark Lanier, who owns, I think, a law firm. And I think, I'm not too sure, but I think it's 35 acres. There's a library, a chapel. There's a beautiful walk from the parking lot into the main area. There's a little gazebo and it's just beautiful grounds and so, so nice. As we make our way in, we're kind of like drawn to all the beauty around us and we just want to go and explore, but we know we got to get into the library and see what's inside. After we checked in and signed the guest book, we began our little tour and just marveled at all the books and all the archaeological finds that you're going to see later on in the video. There were fireplaces, beautiful furniture. just a beautiful library and a wonder to see. As we head upstairs to that part of the library, we admire all the little windows and beautiful light fixtures as well. The architecture of this building is phenomenal and the woodwork is so beautiful. I just had to soak it all in. It is a beautiful place that I probably will be returning to.
I wanted to get one of these little nooks and just read a book but I was not done with my tour so I had to make sure I got everything on film for you guys and then after that we sat down and I got a few books to read and you'll see those later on in the video but right now we're upstairs and the view is spectacular as well the chandeliers the lamps the beautiful ceiling it's all too much I mean whoever put their efforts and energy into designing this place they did a very good job because it is a beautiful place you can't check any of the books out but you can use them while you're in the library um, there's a shelf that you return them to after you use them for research purposes or just to read but you cannot check out any of the books so just to let you guys know if you are in Houston that this is not a library you can check out also they're not open on the weekends so you have to go during the week and I don't think that they allow young children in except for a brief tour and then you have to take them out because I don't think they want any of their books you know uh, messed up you know with little sticky hands or whatnot so just be sure that you get a babysitter if you go um, and check out this library. have a lot of memorabilia from C.S. Lewis, the author of Alice in Wonderland, and they have an original Narnia map, some script and some letters that were written by other authors as well. So you guys, if you are into handwritten letters, scripts, and original copies of things such as the Narnia map, and much more be sure to check out this section of their library and you can even read some of the letters and some of the scripts um, and some of the original pages and some of them were even typed in old school typewriter uh, font so yes very interesting There are a lot of things also from Mesopotamia and near the Dead Sea. I think this is one of the uh, water pitchers from Mesopotamia. And there's a few other artifacts that I'm going to be able to show you guys. This is a Dead Sea scroll vase. It's about 2,000 years old, and they have this in the library if you want to take a look. If you are into archaeology and looking at ancient pottery, they do have a lot of these types of artifacts for you to view, as well as two King James Bibles and some clay tablets, also from Mesopotamia. And I believe these are some of the clay tablets that you can view.
they have replicas of the Dead Sea Scroll as well as a few pieces of the original Dead Sea Scrolls as well and they are very well preserved. Um, I believe this is the replica and later on you will see some of the original pieces of part of the original Dead Sea Scrolls as well. So just make sure that if you are going to this library that you take a look at all these ancient artifacts because they're so interesting and also something that's very rare that you don't see a lot of and so just to see it and you know able to try and read it I don't know if <laughs> any of you speak this ancient language but I'm sure you guys can appreciate it still There's also this original tile artwork, um, and this is this is really nice. You can see each intricate piece of tile that makes up this beautiful art, and they also have some daggers and bits and pieces of scroll. They also have some coins that you'll see later in the video, as well as some busts and statues of, you know, certain deities and goddesses as well. So here are some of the ancient coins I was telling you guys about. And these are very old. I think some of them are from Greece. But um, this library has so many different artifacts and beautiful old original copies of books there are books on all religions there are books on magic egyptology and this is the original or one of the original king james's bible um there are so many different texts in here a lot of them are written in different languages or their original languages that they were printed in um i think this library is mostly for research and archives and books that you can't really find in normal libraries I believe the owner is a collector and is kind enough to share the collection with the public and I think that's very nice so if you guys get a chance definitely check out the Lanier Theological Library this is one of the books I picked up and it's about magic and religion and how it all kind of corresponds together and it goes into the philosophy of religion as well as the philosophy of magic and you really can't have one without the other is what I concluded from taking a look at that book. I took a few notes while I was there. I'm sitting in my big comfy library chair as you can see and just having a good time learning and reading i learned a lot actually in the short time that i was there by reading a lot of these books that are not available in most libraries or not in the same text you know there are a lot of rewritten books or things like that but they have a lot of the original text that you don't just find everywhere
So after we read for a little while and I did some research, it was time to go and we wanted to visit the little chapel that they also have on the grounds before we left. So we headed out that way and said goodbye to the library in which we will be returning to. That is a beautiful place. So let's head over to the chapel. So this is the inside of the stone chapel and it is painted with biblical scenes from the New and the Old Testament. I believe that the replica of a church in Byzantine Turkey or a Byzantine church, I believe that's what the chapel is modeled after. And so you're going to get that old world type of architect it is a beautiful chapel and I think a lot of people have weddings here and it's so pretty we just wanted to walk around and look around for a little while here I hope we don't get in trouble for walking around and standing behind that pulpit, but sometimes you just can't resist and sometimes you just have to see what it feels like. So Sasha went up and got in the little pulpit up there and looked out and it's very interesting. These are the chairs for the clergy and this building is so intricately thought out and constructed it is a beautiful building if you just go to see this chapel you will be amazed and impressed and just in awe this is a beautiful chapel
and welcome to today's service where I will be waving and that's about it. <laughs> It was now time to start heading out and going back to the house. But first, we just have to take in this beautiful landscape one more time and just look around the grounds a little bit. A lot of this is private property, so the owner has his home a little bit further that way and there are a few little shops and a few little rooms and I'm sure some guest houses and a little seminar area where you can have meetings and things like that over here so you guys if you get a chance to check out the Lanier library definitely it is worth the drive so as we said goodbye we headed out and we decided that we're gonna go grab a little snack and something to drink along the way so i hope you guys come with us and see where we go i think you're gonna like it it's kind of neat After our little excursion to the library, Sasha and I headed home and we got a little thirsty. So we decided we were gonna try this new little boba tea place that we heard about that is close to our house. So we decided to check out this place called Space City. And it is a space themed boba tea place and it has like fusion food. So it has like Mexican and Asian fusion going on as well as this beautiful space theme. And it's just a very eclectic place. I'm just gonna let the place speak for itself and show you guys around. If you like these sort of videos and you want more of these types of vlogs where I go out and about and take you and show you what I'm doing, let me know in the comments and what was your favorite part of the video. Sit and enjoy a tea and some snacks with us as well. We'll see you guys later. Bye.